Hey everyone, Vito here from More Beer Pro. We're at CBC, the Craft Brewers Conference, at the More Beer Pro booth, but we're in the Spidel section. We're talking with Ralph of Spidel, and we're gonna go over the Braumeister systems. All right, Ralph, so I've brewed on the little small Spidel system, yeah. but this one's a little bigger. Tell me a little bit about this uh, system here. Yeah, the system, is, in general, it's the same system. Yeah, it works the same way. You have the overflow of the malt pipe, so it does nothing different, yeah? Just a little bit bigger, and the pump is different, and the electric power consumption is a little different, but it's still the same system in general. Yeah, no, the pump is a frequency uh, control. The advantage here is you have more function with the pump. For the small device, you use the pump and for pump and for the overflow. Okay. But uh, for the bigger size, you use it also for the whirlpool, and also to get drained out of your wort in the tank. Yeah. So what, what size system is this right here? This is a 200 liter. I'm not sure how many gallon it is. It's okay. about uh, 50 gallons. Yeah, it looks about 50 gallon. A little over a yeah. barrel, two barrel system. Exactly. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a larger size than this too? What is the the, the different sizes that you have available? Yeah. This one? We have for the bigger size, the commercial size, we have the 200 liter, the 500 liter, and also a 1,000 liter. 1,000 liter as well, okay. Yeah, yeah, and they work all the same way. There is no difference between. Okay, yeah. so same, what I love about this is the footprint yeah. size. So it exactly. looks like I can lift this with a forklift, exactly. move around. Yeah. It's one Perfect. vessel, love that. Yeah. You know, being able to yeah build a brew house in a small little area. Exactly. Yeah, and it's also easy to clean because you only have one vessel. Yeah. So the engineering, the welds, amazing. It has yeah. the jacket, the same jacket right, too. Yes. Yeah, I love the quality on this. This is amazing. Love how, how the, the, the water flows. I mean, I got great efficiency. Yeah. Um, this thing's amazing. That's great. Well, let's go take a look at the controller. Yeah. All right, so now we're on the back end of this unit. The new yeah. control panel. You showed me some of the features yesterday. Let's go over those features and show everybody yeah. all the cool new uh, additions you've added. Yeah. Yeah, what can we do here? We can put in the temperature uh, like you want, and you can say how long you want to keep it. Yeah, if this is necessary, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, then you got it. You can now can say start, okay, uh, if you want. But uh, we have a timer where we can also make on hold. That means uh, you don't have to start now. You can start later if you want. Also Speaking here. of that, uh, let's. Uh, one of the cool things you showed me about that starting later. So yeah. you actually have the ability to add the water exactly. to a certain point, get the temperature exactly. to a certain point. Talk me through that and show me like kind of yeah. how that's controlled. Yeah. If you say uh, today I don't want to brew, but tomorrow, yeah, uh -huh. I want to have hot water. You can say I have a brew start. Yeah, you choose some of your recipes, you have mm -hmm. already inside, yeah. He's asking you some simple things, some simple questions, yeah. Uh, just when I can say at this point uh, before, we have the filling mm -hmm. uh, option. That means I can fill in water like I want to have. I say 230 liter is good for the start, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it will fill up till 230 liter, and then it stops, yeah. But this is just by the way, okay. I will do it back. If we make a normal brew start, or pills. I say no, I don't want to do it now. I say okay, I say later, maybe at whatever you want. Yep. Yeah, the so next two hours. And I say okay. So you know, it says it starts in seven hours, eight hours, whatever you want. There are two ways. Uh, Germany people sometimes they do the mashing in before. Mm -hmm. That means they do it in the uh, in the afternoon or before in the evening and they start up brewing in the morning. That means you can run it at more than four o'clock and you will be ready at uh, 6.30 with the mashing. So I could yeah. add my milled grains, have them sitting in exactly. there ready to go, then at a certain yeah. time it'll add the water, heat exactly. the water up to the temperature, could do multi-step mash. Yeah. I wake up, I'm already done mashing essentially. Exactly. That's yeah. pretty cool. So you see for two hours, yeah, full yeah. time. So that's pretty cool, yeah. That's something what we can do here. And the way it measures the water, it wasn't, it's not a flow meter, it's it's actually measuring uh, the it's pressure. From the pressure, yeah. yeah. It takes the level which is from the pressure and counts out, oh, that must be 230 liter. Yeah. Okay, uh, one other feature I want to show you is uh, we have also for the pump regulation something, yeah. we can do it um, if we say we want to regulate the pump by pump speed, it's possible, yeah. But it's more important that you have the same pressure inside of the mall pipe. That's why we say it's more interesting mm -hmm. to control it by the pressure, yeah? So you set the pressure to what you want, 
and then it keeps all the time the same pressure inside of the mall pipe. And that's the important thing. I love that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we talk about flow rate. You want a certain flow rate. Sure, yeah. that's the pump. But if you're starting to get a stuck spar or stuck mash and it's compressing, the pressure is what it's sensing exactly, to, yeah. to do that. So you're always going to have that same amount of pressure. It's not controlling exactly. the speed of the pump. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, you know, that that's a very good feature for this. Yeah, um, I don't think I've seen anything like that on, on other. I think it's unique. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty it's unique. All right, hey, Ralph, thanks again for going over all these features with me. Everything here is available at morebeerpro.com. Check it out.